Hi, this is Video For All and this is a help video. Video For All is a website that provides language teachers with help about using video in the language classroom. There are lots of different ideas. Um, you can come onto the website and for example look at how you can use video, how you can make video or how you can communicate with video and you're going to get lots of different ideas, each one with a video example, a quick explanation and also a PDF file that gives you more ideas about that particular idea. The set of training videos I'm going to do now is going to focus on a really useful tool called Google Forms. If you have a Gmail account, you have a free Google Docs account and one of the things in your Google Docs is Google Forms. Google Forms allows you to create questionnaires with your students and then you can place those questionnaires online, the students can fill them in and you, it will summarize all of the answers from the students. So it's a very efficient way of working. Great for students as well, so students can create surveys, but the important thing is you can include video in those survey questions and that's what we're going to focus on today. If you sign in to Google and then click on your apps, go to your Google Drive and I'm going to show you an example first so you can see exactly what you can do with um, your uh, Google Forms and how you can create questions and how you can put video into those questions. So let's take this example here. This is a Google Form that I've created for a group of teachers and there are a series of questions that I've asked them, very simple questions here. Uh, you can just see just a few basic ones. There's no video in this example, but I will be showing you examples with video or show you how to do video. Now I can create this in seconds and once I created this I can then click here and just simply send that link to the participants. They can click on the link and add their answers. Now the interesting thing is the way that Google works is that it allows you to uh, share the link with participants, they answer the questions and Google Forms will actually collect all those responses together and present them to you. So if I click here on responses and come down to summary of responses I can see all of the answers to those questions all analyzed for me statistically so really really interesting in that way okay and as I said it can include video so you can make one of these forms very quickly add video into it share it on the internet and the responses come back immediately so let's look at creating a questionnaire and including video in that questionnaire so let's create our own Google form go to the drive go to new come down to more and choose Google Forms now we can give this form a title so we're going to call this video test because what I'm going to do is focus on the idea of us creating videos and then afterwards having questions related to those videos so for that reason we're going to give it the title video test now by default your first question is put onto the screen but you can always change that question if you want to anyway if you click here you'll see that you get the whole range of different questions that you can make available if you want to and in fact what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that completely and then I'm going to add item and I'm actually going to add video first because what we're going to do is add a video and then have a question underneath. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll ask you to search for a video. So I'm going to write funny presentation as my search because I know there's a really useful video here for presentations that I make use of. I'm going to click on that and click select and now that video has been selected. I'm going to resize that okay? so I can just click on it and make sure that that's a bit bigger so nice nice and big for uh, the um, viewers to watch so just click again and make that a bit bigger and then I'm going to center that video and then I'm just going to say I put a title video presentation and then I'm just going to put a caption that says watch this video so the participants will watch this video I'm going to click on done because I've now done that that's all finished but now I'm going to add a new item and what I'm going to do now is add a series of questions underneath to get the students to write in their answers and I can add all sorts of questions to this it can be multiple choice it can be text etc so we're going to add an item and we'll start with something very simple like multiple choice okay and we're going to give the and we're going to have a simple questionnaire and it says say is the 
speaker prepared very simple questions to start with and we're just going to have two answers they can either put yes or no okay remember there's no need to put a correct answer here because what you're going to get is information back from your students did they choose yes or did they choose no you're going to get statistical information back I'm going to make this a required question I'm going to add another item now and this one's actually going to be a more specific question and this one's going to be what was his first or let's change that slightly now let's ask the question what one of these things was he carrying in his arms and we're going to put uh, a few options here we're going to write computer because that was the answer book that wasn't the answer I'm going to add another one so we're going to add three options and we're going to put speakers Okay, I'm just demonstrating how you could use this tool. Obviously, you're going to think about more interesting questions, of course, but I'm just demonstrating. You can put some text help in here if you want to. Done. So I've got my second question. I'm going to add another question. This one's going to be a paragraph. So the students actually write something here. Can you... So let's put watch the video and write down as many mistakes as you can find okay so here the students will be able to write a list of mistakes now I won't add any more you can see you could keep adding all different types tick boxes drop down mark um, single word etc so lots of different things that you can do you have to look into these um, of course you could add another video if you wanted to watch another video um, to make it uh, you know a, var a variety of videos that the, the uh, students watch um, once you finish you just click on send form and you simply share this link and you can copy that link and send it to the students you can send it via email if you have the students names or you could even click here and embed the questionnaire into for example blogger or into um, a uh, Moodle or into WordPress for example once you've shared, once you've shared the link with the students uh, obviously they'll click on the link and it will open up and they'll have all the questions this is just another example of another question that I'm showing you and you can open up your questionnaire at any time once the students have started to respond and just click and click on summary of responses and you will see their answers so this can be a great way of checking comprehension making sure that they've actually watched the video you could set this for homework the students come home click on the link watch the video and then do the homework the students can also create these uh, questionnaires and they could make comprehension questions for each other as well using video so lots of different ways and of course all the answers to any written work will come back as a kind of table and any statistical information will come back in the form of a graph uh, showing you the statistics so fabulous tool for video fabulous tool for video comprehension but don't forget also a tool that you could get the students to use uh, and get them to create video comprehension questions etc